So first things first, I want to say a huge thank you to all of our subscribers out there. Just a couple weeks ago we reached a huge milestone of 1,000 subscribers and I've only been doing this for just over a year now so that just makes me so happy and so thankful for all of you who subscribe and comment and keep coming back and watching more. And thank you guys so much. I hope you guys continue to do so and that this channel continues to grow because this is just really exciting. I also just wanted to point out that last week's video made me laugh a little bit that we did on um, traveling to Disneyland via airplane because a lot of you were really surprised to find out that we are not local to Southern California. Surprise! I kind of think that's one reason why we're so good at planning because we can't go there just whenever we want so we have to make use of what little time we do have in the parks. Over the last few months and even in the last week, the last video that I made about fast passes has become kind of obsolete. And so I want to kind of update you on things so that you're not going to the parks with some outdated information that just doesn't work anymore. And also, this week they've started a new sort of fast pass system. So it's important to understand what's different and what's the same. First off, in that previous video, I talked about how you can hold more than one fast pass at a time, especially with Buzz Lightyear Astro Blasters, because they would allow you to hold more than one fast pass simultaneously. Unfortunately, that's not so much the case anymore. That doesn't mean that that will never happen again, but just make sure that you continue to look on your fast passes when you get them, because if you are allowed to get another fast pass immediately, it will say so on the ticket. And it doesn't just have to be on Buzz Lightyear, it could be on a lot of rides doesn't happen very often, but you never know. Keep your eyes peeled. Now we've been waiting for a very long time for the new Max Pass system to start up, and although we still don't have any idea when exactly it's going to start, they've already started the new Fast Pass system this last week at Disneyland. What this now means is that when you go to a Fast Pass distribution machine and get your ticket, that ticket is no longer your actual Fast Pass. It even now says on it Fast Pass Reminder. Your actual Fast Pass is now linked to your park ticket or annual pass. So when you go to the Fast Pass return line, all those scanners that have been installed at every Fast Pass return entrance are now being used. So you simply go up and use your park ticket or annual pass and scan that at the scanners and that's how you get into the Fast Pass return line. What you actually had printed out at the Fast Pass distribution machine, you can get rid of if you'd like, though it still has all that important information on it. There's one more thing about this new system that is either a complete departure from what they used to do with fast passes or a temporary system glitch, but we don't know yet. Before, you had to wait at least 35 to 40 minutes from the time you got a fast pass till the time you were able to use it. Meaning that if you got a fast pass at noon, the bare minimum time you'd be able to return would be 1240. And even if nobody came and got any more fast pass tickets for the next five minutes, you'd still have to wait till 12.45, so on and so forth. Now, people are reporting that they've been able to occasionally get a fast pass that is good for just a few minutes from then. Sometimes as little as four minutes. We don't know yet if this is going to be a completely new thing that they're going to do now, or if it's an issue that they're going to fix soon. But one way or the other, Make sure you're looking at that FastPass reminder card when it's printing out because it will tell you, of course, your FastPass return time, but also the time that you're going to be able to get another FastPass. That may be 40 minutes from then, it may be two hours away, or it could just be a few minutes away. Make sure you're checking to see. As far as we can tell, every other aspect of the FastPass system has remained unchanged including fast passes for World of Color, which actually you still need those paper fast passes. They have not gone digital whatsoever. In the meantime, we're still waiting for the Max Pass system. Who knows when that's going to be, but we're one step closer, and at least now they're actually using all the machinery that they spent all that time and money installing. So those are some updates to keep in mind for fast passes the next time you visit. Of course, fast pass information changes quite frequently, so continue to make new videos and keep you guys posted. Follow us on Facebook or Instagram and we'll keep you updated on any up to the minute changes that Disneyland makes to their fast pass system. If you guys do have any other questions, continue to let us know. Leave in the comments any other suggestions you may have for videos you want to see and uh, that gives me a lot of great ideas. I love reading through them. 
In the meantime, make sure you continue to like and subscribe, share this with other people that you know, and thank you all so much again for all the subscribes. It just makes me so happy, and we will see you guys next week.